For me, um, Hawthorne Valley really centers around the earth and the children, so there are so many stories in that. And what I, what I really find the most joy-filled and life-giving is, is having that experience through the lens of my, my granddaughter, who's now seven. I've walked her down here every morning, and I, I walk her to school every morning, and I walked her mom to school every morning. So uh, to have that multi-generational perspective and to just see this valley and this, this beautiful miracle called Hawthorne Valley through the, the eyes of this seven-year-old and to have a, a different perspective on it now than one can have as a parent. Very early in the morning, it's, it's the time when it's most quiet and it's got a nice, a nice rhythmical feel in the barn of the farmers going down the line and milking all the cows. The bakers are working at that point and the people who work um, making yogurt and cheese, doing the dairy processing, they're starting very early. The horses and the chickens and the pigs and the sheep by the time school starts. There's people at the store, children on the farm, helping out where they can. Finger knitting, we're sewing, we're cooking, we're chopping, we're peeling, we're rolling dough. I value that so much in the Waldorf education and at our school is that we really take time for things and we slow it down. We're teaching people how to breathe you can have this kind of uh, thinking focus of breathing is really what is health giving and happiness giving. Breathing in the Waldorf sense of the word means that I am able to fully experience everything it means to be human. There's the experience for the child that they're making something and they get to see it and they get to experience it. And there's also the idea of working with the whole person, the whole child, a whole human being to build a, a strong foundation. It's kind of like it's all just seeping into them. Like they're just, they're outside and they're figuring out things in nature or they come inside and they're, they're using their hands to so and to create something and they're getting this pride of ownership and of accomplishment all the time. And our older daughter, who's in seventh grade, is blossoming in the school environment. She is just... A way we didn't even expect it, actually. The relationship between the teacher and student isn't just that, it's a mentorship, you know? Mm. And I think that that human relationship there um, that opens up um, through that freedom as a teacher is, is, is what inspires me and excites me about being here. And, uh, you know, if we look at the teacher as an artist, I have that creative capacity to, to bring the material in the way that's going to meet them, right? Give them a, trying to give them exactly what they need at the right time and the right way. How they need to be met and how I can do that best for them to feel secure in who they are and to feel empowered and to feel loved and to feel strong. When I see my granddaughter in my heart, in my mind, I see childhood as it should be. I see a joyful little being who is really allowed to be a child and be in the world and experience the world as good and experience a sense of wonder and a sense of beauty and a sense of mystery and a sense of joy. And this should not be the exception and this should not seem like it's a quirk or oh, isn't that nice? And this is what all children deserve in my, in my opinion. And I just want so much for all children to have a similar experience of the world.